I don't think I was off the camera, was I? No, I was just over here. I thought I was trying to do this right here. Basically, I was just trying to walk into the camera. I did. It's been so cold here, people. It's hard to use this thing up here. To, what's that called? The stomach? I don't know. No, I'm kidding. We're going to do another mukbang. That's why I'm thinking the stomach right now. And we're going to do a mukbang with ramen noodles. I'm going to heat up a lot of ramen noodles right now. And we got, you know, most people, they use the same flavor. They basically buy one of these boxes. <clears throat> They'll buy one of these boxes right here and do the ramen noodle um, mukbang with these usually. But... I decided to go with something different. I got top ramen. And it's mostly chicken. I try to stay with the same flavor, no chicken flavor. Like I didn't add no beef flavored because I figured it'd be a little bit too much. Then we got Mari Chan, which looks like top ramen, chicken flavored. Really, they look the same, don't they? Like here's the top ramen. And here's the Mari Chan. <laughs> That's crazy how similar they are. Crazy. Then we got my favorite kind, the wasabi, the wakisabo, wakis, wakisabo, wakisaba, marichan, uh, chicken teriyaki flavored noodles. Then we got these are new actually, so I'm interested what these taste like. I think we'll put these on the side so I could get a bite of them before I mix them in with the others. I wanted a little spice to it, so I grabbed one of these. Oh, this is beef flavored. I didn't see it. I didn't know they had beef or chicken flavored. Beef. Look, that's where you see it at. Right there at the top, beef, chicken. I was like, I thought it was just one flavor. That's tapit to the hot sauce flavor. <laughs> that's, in a, that's a funny looking face that we did. He's like, try my ramen noodles. Okay. Then we got cup noodles, Nissan noodles, chicken flavored. And then we got this. Chin noodle soup by Nangishim. Chin noodle soup. This looks interesting. I think this is spicy, right? Spicy, yeah, that's spicy. So already we got two spicy packs mixed in with uh, one, two, three, four, four chicken packs. Then I grabbed some more of these with the copy, two more of those. But then I grabbed another one of these. Oh, here we go. Here, here's a, I could I'll save the beef one for later. And I'll just use this one for the mukbang, the chicken flavored one. So I got a chicken flavored one of these. Cool. Still spicy. Still good. And then our final one here, stir fry noodles. I know it's gonna be weird, honestly, it's probably gonna be a little bit weird adding the stir fry noodles with the regular ramen noodles, but I'm sure it'll all taste good. I'm hungry, I'm cold. Let's warm up, let's eat up. Shut up and cook them noodles. Yeah, we're ready for this. Let's probably have the most precious food I've ever seen honestly like look at that those are freaking mushroom pieces in there it's crazy I could smell the fruit it's so not dry at all great this honestly the first appetizing fruit I've seen in a while in the ramen let's get it this is a lot of food already I don't know I don't know if I can do this honestly, but I gotta stay in the right mindset. I can do this and I will do this. But here's the thing. There's two more things to make. These two. I think I'm, I'm thinking about just making one of them honestly though because I don't want to waste any food. But which one do I add? You know what, since this is no added MSG, we're gonna go with this one. This will be our final goal. So we'll have one, three, four, five, six. Six cups of ramen noodles in one plate. 
check out with this one you're actually supposed to add the seasoning with the water someone told me that in the comments because they watch me make these and these you're only supposed to add the vegetables in with the water see you add the seasoning after it's cooked so that's why it's weird that they're different like that ain't it like what's the right way what's the wrong way they're probably both the good way man these shin noodles smell great oops i left it up i want to keep it closed till it's all ready that way they can keep you know soaking in the heat so yeah there's our there's our five right now we're waiting for the sixth one the big one over there i'm sorry for this but yeah that shin one even i guess because it costs like four or five bucks it smells like it's like top quality ramen and look we still gotta add the packet of it the packet looks even awesome compared to the packet i'm used to seeing like this yeah that's why i don't have this is why i don't have the fruit to mine because look how dry this is this looks like it's dried it's been i don't know in the dirt but this is what the packets i'm used to seeing they look pretty cool but compared to this one no, this is a seasoning packet nice so compared to that one that's a lame one that's the original one but it's not lame it's just og so that orange packet and these fruit came from that uh, big cup over there that's cooking. And as you, you can even tell the difference if you look at them, this looks more fresher than that. That's why I quit eating the fruit of these, the dried fruit, because when you see it starts looking like that, like basically almost like seasoning, you really don't want to put that in your body, I don't think. Because honestly, that's not even, it's like grayish colored. This is at least colored like the fruits are supposed to be colored like the veggies are pretty green and even these veggies the the green lettuce is kind of losing its color so even these ones are messed up i guess i don't know they didn't preserve these right but i don't work for the fda so the food the demand administration i don't know what the d stands for but i don't work for the food you know people so you know what can i say well who, who knows anyways all i can say is i'm hungry it's cold let's eat Let's feast. Well, before we put them in the plate, I want to take a bite of every one of them first, alone. Basically, like a little quick taste test, you know. Quick taste review. Okay. So the first one we're going to be trying is uh, the Shin something. Shin noodle soup. The smell after I added the seasoning... It went from good to what the heck it smells like dish soap now. It's mostly because I'm not a mushroom fan. I don't like the flavor of mushrooms. So. Oof and it smells straight up like mushroom. Like you know those regular normal mushrooms. Okay here we go. Wish me luck. Now this is a spicy one, so hopefully it's not spicy enough where I need some drink. Because I ain't got some drink right now. Mmm. 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 No. Mmm. -mm. Hell no. It tastes like drip. I almost swore it was so bad. Ugh. Oh, I hate mushrooms. That's why I hate mushrooms. Because they remind me of a flavor of seafood. I can't stand seafood. Ugh. Hold on. The spiciness wasn't so bad, it's just... It tasted too much like shrimp noodles, and I can't stand those. Ugh. I should have got some drink. Now I'm having regrets. It ain't, it ain't like it's poisonous to me, though. So, Still, it's really nasty. I, I'm not adding that cup to the plate. That cup is wasted. I didn't think it would taste like freaking shrimp, you know, or any seafood, let alone. Next, we're going to be trying, oof, that's spicy. I don't know if it's a smart idea to try another spicy one, but right afterwards. 
But hopefully this is a good spicy. And it don't taste like shrimp. Or seafood. Oh man. Okay, here we go. With that tapito, tapado, however you say it, ramen noodle soup. Basically hot sauce, ramen, hot sauce, ramen soup. Right? Hot sauce noodle soup. A lot, I realize a lot of companies don't really like to say ramen anymore. They say cup noodle soup now. But I think it happened after we started making the jokes like, oh, you like ramen? <laughs> Those don't taste like real noodles. the hell I should have just stuck with the the ones I liked I keep screwing this up I keep being crap that's horrible thinking it's gonna be good don't buy that how about that that probably hurts a new company so don't buy that unless you like fake tasting noodles oh my lord now this one smells horrible and I used to like these these are the cup noodles Oh, now I remember. They do have a, they have the same taste as the last one does. Like the noodles taste like they're not actual noodles. It's like they have a different texture to them, and almost. Ugh, ugh, the hell! I don't think I can eat that. What is wrong with me? No way! That smells like wet dog. <laughs> Nope. Nope. Good thing I told I didn't tell you all to get some food yet. <sighs> Stir fry. Shoot, at this point we only have three, four cups left. Oh wait, actually we only have three cups left. That one's up throwing out two. Come on, be good. Be good, stir fry. Please be good. We need at least four cups. For the mukbang. Already it's looking unpromising. Maybe I should just call this a mukbang failed. I think my store served me some bad food. Drew Osco, why you do this? Drew Osco, why you serve us bad food now? Do you not care about us anymore? Sorry, body, but we gotta try it at least. Okay, good, that's my hair. It's bland, but it's not as bad as the other ones. Stir fry, you're going in. Going on the plate. Okay, now before I dump this on the plate, let me just remind you all. Oof, my knee. Oh, the camera will spell. Oh, oh man, this sucks. Okay, that's good. That's good. Yep, you already seen I try like keep it out of the view, but dang, the camera's now slanted. Oh, I'm not trying to make this. All right, that's as good as I can get it, honestly, folks, for now at least. We got our four cups of ramen noodles here. Probably three, I don't know. I lost track. Count. Oh, and then, just in case, I got me some, I never tried this stuff before, La Choy. It's probably called La Hoy, uh, sweet and sour sauce. I love sweet and sour sauce. And I figured, oh, they'd probably taste great with my noodles. Because I like sweet and sour sauce on everything else. Let me just open this. The problem with no nails, you always have to have something sharp around.
Yes, yes, yes. Give me that, give me that, give me that sauce, boss. Come on now. Look at that pink, pink guy. Okay, no, I'm kidding. Wow, it does smell like legit sweet and sour sauce. Let's put some of this on the side. Eventually. Oh, dang, it's going to run. Oh my god. He had it. Ah, stop. <laughs> the sauce is so unpredictable. It legit is a boss of all sauce. Okay. Okay. Ain't too bad. Maybe missing a little fruity flavor to it, but yeah, ain't too bad. Oh, all right, people. Let's start our meal. Oh, I'm pretty sure some of you kind of had a problem with me not saying grace or before the last, I mean, in the last mukbang we did. I don't really say grace. I never had. Um, let's see here. I'll try, though. I'll give it a try here. Before we eat, let's bow our heads for those that like to do this. Dear Heavenly Father, who is up in heaven, or anywhere really, because if I was God, I'd be anywhere, anytime. Please bless this meal, bless these people that eat with me on this meal, and uh, make it a blessed meal. Uh, amen. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I was, I was going to say... Bless the meal, bless the meal, bless the meal, bless the meal. <laughs> I was going to just keep going around that because that's all I really know. Um, but anyways, yeah, if you all got some food with you, let's eat. I have to bring this plate a bit closer. I don't want to make a mess. Get my hair out the way. Problem with long hair and beard. You always got to prepare yourself before you have a nice big meal like this. It's basically just a bite of the mixed noodles that we all got. Hmm. Hmm. Actually a pretty interesting flavor. Okay. I'm gonna try it with some of this um sweet and sour sauce. I'm full. No, I'm kidding. I need a I need a drink. Oof. I had to move the camera back more. Oof. That way we can get a better view. I think it's a better view, right? Oh, it's so cold. I want to take off my hoodie, but it's so cold. It's like, oh, that's a stupid idea. Um, in my last mukbang, I didn't give a shout out to Oompaville. That's O O M P A. B I L L E Oompaville. Um, he's the one that really got me looking into Nikocabo Avocado. Gave a shout out to him on our first mukbang, but not Oompaville. So, Oompaville, thanks for showing how fun mukbangs could actually be. Also, how entertaining. Very entertaining. Oof. Try to get comfortable here. Switch my chair up. Oh, I gotta kick my feet out. <laughs> Those first two bites are big bites, alright, folks. You gotta realize I got a small stomach. Yeah, screw, it. screw the hoodie. I grabbed me some spicy mayonnaise because right now that's the only really spicy sauce I got. I did get some hot sauce, spi uh, sauce but my mom was like, as soon as I put it upstairs for them to use, my mom says, ooh, that hot sauce cleared up my sinuses right away. Uh, ugh. You know what that means? That means she sat there. She. This is what my mom does. when She's like, whenever she gets sick or something and she can't like breathe through her nose, she'll take a bottle of hot sauce, put her lips on it, and just sit there and take like a couple of shots from it like it's medicine. And so 
whatever hot sauce they got upstairs, I usually end up not using at all because I sit there thinking, ugh, my mom drank out of it. Honestly, anyone that would drink out of it, I'd think it's gross. And the fact that she's doing it when she's sick, what the heck? So, when she told me that, she's like, oh, they had that hot sauce, clear up my sinuses right away. I was like, oh, that's gross. In my head, I didn't even say nothing to her. I'm like, okay. I, I should have figured that was going to happen because that's what you do. But you know what? Yeah. So anyways, sorry to put that nasty image in your head. But that's why I got spicy mayonnaise instead of regular hot sauce. Plus, I feel like I want it to be a bit spicy. I should grab some wasabi powder. I saw that. Wasabi powder. I'm just going to put a little bit on the side here because I don't know how this is going to taste. I figured good because noodles is kind of like bread, right? So like, it should taste good. Okay, it's not that good. Honestly, though, it almost has wasabi flavor to it. <laughs> Speaking about wasabi, mix spicy mayonnaise with uh, ramen noodles, you'll get that wasabi flavor. Oddly. But minus the spice, a lot of the spice. Okay. I guess the sweet and sour sauce is good enough. What the heck's in here? I'm pretty sure I didn't put no vegetables in here. Is that from the sauce? What the heck? It don't even look like a vegetable. It looks like part of a bug. Putting that on a piece of paper over there. That looks like a dried piece of lettuce. Super dried. Is there? Hold on. Is there stuff in this? That makes sense if they put like pineapple and stuff because that's what you put in sweet. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just making sure I'm not eating something that's crazy. American food is crazy. Honestly, most of the stuff we eat is made out of labs anyways. I should give a shout out to the Chinese YouTube community over there for giving us this awesome idea of mukbangs because that's where I think it originated from. That's, I, honestly, I would consider it, even if it didn't originate from over in China, I'd still give them, i give this to them, this, this idea because, man, it's not fair over in China. They had so many people doing this style of video, mukbangs. And eventually, the Chinese government was like, okay, this is going to be against the law. We don't want to see you having a, making a portion that you're not, that you know you can't eat. <laughs> so, you have to stick to a portion that you for sure can eat. In fact, it came such a bad problem that they're like, all right. Since you all don't want to figure out what portion you can eat and always leaving leftovers, even if it was like a littlest bit of leftovers, you know, they were just so aggravated just at the fact already that they were doing that. And so they had to, they felt like, I guess they felt like they had to punish them all. And so they're like, all right, this is a portion. If you, if you have more food on your plate that is uh, more than this portion, then, you know, they might fine you. They might even arrest you. So in China, mukbangs are almost illegal. I guess that's why they do ASMR now. Like, you don't see them having, I mean, sometimes you'll still see them having big plates of food because heck, that's awesome people. You can't stop the awesome.
баладам. Went to fear because they didn't want to get fined. They didn't want to go to jail over some food. So they stuck with the rules. They followed by the rules. But, but here's the part of the story I love. Even those people that got scared of, <laughs> of my bird. Uh, let me go get a napkin. I gotta blow my nose. Okay, we're back. Oof. Oh, when I eat a lot, just things won't come out, I guess. I don't know. Excuse me for the burp, by the way. I forgot to say that. Um, but here's my favorite part of the story. That's why I didn't say excuse me right away. I wanted to finish the story. Um, my favorite part of the story is like even those people that became feared of the new law, you know, not wanting to have extra food and stuff like that. So they went to go following the law, but they still wanted to entertain for you all. So what they did was is they switched over the ASMR is what I think. Like they had basically, they get exotic foods, but not over, you know, not too much of the exotic foods. And they'd sit there and eat it for you all. And basically do an eat stream that's a little bit less entertaining than the buck bangs honestly to me it's a lot less entertaining I'm not gonna lie the ASMR stuff I don't like the mukbangs I like because it feels like you're having a meal with someone if you're eating while well, they're eating but the ASMR don't feel like that because you're listening to it feels like you're like seeing like right under them as they eat I don't, and I don't find that enjoyable Mmm. Mmm. How am I becoming so full already? What is going on? Cheers. That's funny. I'm pretty sure some people that are watching this in the future, they go to take their drink as soon as I'm taking their drink. So they probably said this to the well, the, the TV or the computer or uh, phone screeners up, cheers. And then I go, cheers. <laughs> that probably freaked them out. <laughs> They're like, <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> because that's what I do, honestly. When I, whenever I see like someone take a drink out of something watching a video, I go and take a drink, and then eventually, like, whenever we take the drink at the same time, like, me watching the video and the person making the video, like, cheers. <laughs> By accident, you know. Oh, man, my stomach's so full, I can't take another bite. What the heck? I only took, what, four bites? I thought I'd be able to eat a lot more than that. I feel disappointed in myself. I really do. I want to keep going. I want to force myself to keep going. But at the same time, I feel like I'm filled up. I'm filled up to my chest. Like, if my stomach's filled. Maybe it's a cold weather. Because I am really cold. Like, I'm shaking at this point. It seems like the more weight I gain, the more of the cold I can feel. It's freezing in this house. I got no air conditioning on for the past four days now. I wish this would warm me up. It's not spicy enough. There's something wrong with my body. Uh, I have to 
think that's it. I think that's all I can handle. Man, we didn't even do a dent in this one. I thought we'd be doing a dent because it's my favorite food, ramen noodles. Sorry. I tried. I just failed. And now looking back at that first mukbang we did with the chicken, that was a lot more successful than this one. Because that one, I mean, I had a good excuse of reason why I couldn't finish a plate because veggie meat is just nasty to me, I found out. This time, all these noodles are good, but I'm just so full. Ugh. I just want to, like, pick it up and just start shoveling it in my mouth to see if I can swallow as much as I can really quickly. Ugh. Should I do it? <laughs> Should I do it? I guess I'll, it is up to you all, honestly. Because at a, I wish this was live. Then you could tell me. Then you could tell me. You'd be like, yeah, that's a good idea. Just use your hands. Do a caveman style. stomach feels like it's just overpacked. I feel like I can't even sit up. I'm so heavy. Stomach's so heavy. Oof. Oof. And plus it's cold. It's like, oh, that's why I'm so cold. I don't have my hoodie on. A lot better. Ooh. A lot better. Alright, let's eat some more. Sex, dang cold weather. My parents are trying to ruin my videos. They're trying to ruin me, people. You were right. You were right. You were always right. But what am I supposed to do about it, huh? I'm trying to get to the bank to put some money on the card and get some advertisement, but they're the ones that, you know, have the control of when I go to the bank and when I don't. So it's really a lose-lose for me. I lost. But I don't give up. Ramen noodles. <clears throat> I'm trying to do something to make my stomach be like, okay, you want to go more? Let's do it. I'm trying to puff myself up. Ah, uh, I can't. I can't do it. I want to, but I can't. I'm cold, I'm tired. This was a bad idea to do this now. I should have waited. I'm pretty sure if I was warm and well, you know, less sleep deprived on the fact that my mom stole my sleeping pills to sell to my aunt. Surely. I, got, I can't do it. Look at that. They stole my sleeping pills, made me sleep deprived. On the first night, I got them, too. As soon as I went to sleep, what my mom does is she opens the door. Dalton, you up? Of course, if I, of course I don't hear that. And if I do hear that, I'm like, what? And then she runs away. It's what typical thieves do. That's why I keep my door locked. And I guess I gotta start hiding my sleeping pills from the two witches. You two are really witches, honestly. For stealing my sleeping pills and then afterwards making me live in this cold house. 
They must have did something with the air conditioning. And you know how I know they stole my sleeping pills? Because as soon as they went missing the next day, that's when my Aunt Shirley comes over, the one that sells pills all the time. And I'm like, there goes my pills, I guess. Ain't even no reason to go looking for them. They, they, got, they got rid of them real quick. The scammers. Yeah, if you know a, a, a Shirley or a Judy, and if, if they claim to know me, they're scammers. And they're the worst type of scammers. They're witches. They'll kill you. They'll kill you. They will. And the worst part is, they'll do it in a way where it looks like you did it yourself. So no justice will be served to them. And then they're the type of people that like to say, oh, it comes out in the wash. Like as if Jesus or any kind of God would help them. I mean, I could imagine one God helping them, but he's down there. It is what it is, folks. I can't do it. I tap out. I'm sorry. I tap out. The mood I'm in, what they got me going through here, they're basically torturing me. But they're torturing me in a way where it's like, ah, oh, that's what it is to be like in a low income property. Or whatever you call it, low income houses. When the honest truth is, they're just torturous bastards. They lost their parents, my parents did, and now they're running loose with their torment and now it's going worse and worse I'm trying to survive folks I really am don't give up on me give up on them cause not only do I want to break free not break free but I want to yeah I want to get, get away from the cycle I want to get away from these people they're pure evil they're wicked they, they've been doing this stuff for many generations now I, I call it the stupid cycle because they stay in the low income range and they've been torturing people for a long time now for a long time for a long time we have someone that looks like exactly like me and the family back in like the 1920s they died in the 1920s you know why suicide and it was it wasn't suicide but I call it suicide because it was malnutrition the way they were dressed though they looked like they were dressed like as a middle class person so it didn't make no sense to me how did this person starve? Who starved them is a better question. I hate these people. My family. I hate them. I want to get away from them. I have a good plan though. Don't worry about that. We're going to buy some advertisement. I'm going to get a bunch of viewers. And then once we start making money from YouTube, I can go up to my mom and be like, Oh, I'm not doing nothing. Do you say I'll even give it to mom and dad because I know they're both on the same side, both tormenting me in the same different ways. They just like to act like, oh, let's take blame. You know, they take turns taking blame. You know, they take turns being the bad guy, so they both can be the bad guy. And so when I start making money from these YouTube videos, I can't wait to rub it in their ugly dog-like faces. I'm gonna be like, what? Who's not doing nothing now? You low-income. Mm. Who's not doing nothing now? That's honestly what they tell me. So many times already. Oh, you don't do nothing all day. I don't do nothing. And at times it makes me believe it. I, they say it so much. At times I start to believe it. But then, but then I stop myself. I'm like, wait, wait, wait. Look at your fans. Look at your followers. Look at your friends you made online for the things you have been doing. If you have been doing nothing, you would be a nobody. That's why I have to tell myself. If you've been doing nothing, you would be at the bottom of the leaderboards like they are. 
when they don't when they don't even belong at the bottom of the leaderboards that's the worst part about it they don't belong in the poor income range they're smart enough to get at least to the middle class range but you know what they choose to be low income you know why because that's where they get their torture away with you can't torment people in the middle class or in the higher upper class you can, but it's hard to get away with. It's very, it's much harder. It's much harder to get away with it. When you're in a poor income, low, you, you have to fight to survive, even if it meets your own blood. I don't know what these people want from me, honestly. Because all I want to do is get the heck away from them, move far away, and just forget they even exist. That's all I learned from these people. They were so tormented to me. Tormentious. Whatever the word is. I'm sorry to break down this food video into a rant, but... I have to explain why, you know. I'm not taking this fell. This fell is not mine. This fell is my parents' fell. All they had to do was take me to the damn bank. And we could be making money. Enough money where I could give the money to fix the dang air conditioning. Or even get it replaced. So I didn't have to freeze to death. But they decided to stay in the low income range. So they can torture as many innocent as they can. The devil worshippers. I hate them. I hate this. This is their loss. This is what I think about them. What I would want to do to their brains. Because they ain't using it. They ain't using it. Oh, that feels good. Ah, monster brains. <laughs> Remember that? In the Family Guy episode when Joe's helping Quagmire at the cook show. He's like, Joe, pass me that. And then Joe goes touching the broccoli. He's like, ah, monster brains. <laughs> you know why he does that, right? Because when you're a kid and you go to someone's house for Halloween... A uh, little fun thing you like to do is like put food inside a box and have the kids fill it and be like, oh, what is that? And you tell them, well, that's a piece of a monster. <clears throat> Anyways, that's what I think about their brains. That's why I think about that. It is what it is. I'm sorry. Peace out, awesome people. Do never be like that. Never be like my parents. I swear to God. I swear to God you'll have the same outcome. I swear to God on it. You'll be left alone and forgotten losers that this these noodles aren't that satisfied looking